Hello, Oliver again. Recently, I watched the first five shorts of this web series called Critora, created by Derek Spangler, which is about random creatures who live in a world inside a computer with the focus on Spotty, Avery, and Coneboy. And it's alright! Not great, but it's still alright. While I do see some of the potential from the rookie artist and his story-driven webtoon, my only personal criticism are the characters' personalities that are meant to pull the viewer in. But then again, I'm not really a reviewer. I'm just commenting what I think about the show. In fact, this video is really about building a character's personality. We shall start with a solo character. To add personality to your own character, you're going to need the essentials. Purpose, attitude, and flaws. Every good character has three of these categories, and they are usually present when said character appears as a starring role on any feature. While you can make a character whose only purpose is to be relatable, it's not really enough if the character does nothing else. If you draw a new character, the real question you should be asking is, what does it do? Off the bat, then you could see that DJ Mags is of course a DJ. The trick here is the simpler the wants are, the more realistic your character is. For the attitude, try thinking about how said individual moves and how it behaves. Is she egotistical or self-conscious? Defenseless or capable of defending itself? Strict or laid back? It's like what Chuck Jones said. Every action is dictated by what goes on inside you. You have to be able to think the way the character thinks. If you can't tell what's happening by the way the character moves, you're not animating. Once you know how your character's way of thinking, we can come to the third essential of making the personality. Flaws. Every person has at least two flaws or more, and if your character has flaws, it makes them more human. If you make up a knight who is perfect in every way possible, who would actually find the knight interesting at all? This does not mean that the more flaws you have, the more perfect you will be. I'm saying that a person cannot live without having at least one vice or more, and that's okay. And now that you have all three of them checked up, make sure they're clear when you're writing a story. But now that we've covered the ground of solo characters, most of the time focusing on one isn't enough. It would only make sense to bring in another character to join the first. Which leads us to... The Duo! Ah yes, you know what they say, two heads are better than one. If one were to make up a dynamic duo, one key factor is the most magical ingredient needed. CONTRAST! Every famous duo always has some sort of contrast, with one having personality that's usually the opposite of the other. Despite this, there's also the fact that both of them have one thing in common. But the duo doesn't always have to be friends, they could be workers, rivals, or even lovers. And if you're not satisfied with duos, there's always the TRIO! Power trios are an ensemble of three personalities, and even they have a bit of contrast. While you still have the two personalities with extreme opposites, you can throw in another to act as the glue to hold them together. Alright! Now that we covered the 101 of character personalities, it's time to visualize the personality and turn it into your very own new character. For that, I recommend this great video about character design from BAM Animation. It tells you everything you need to know about how to draw your own original characters. Speaking of designs, I will now show you my take on the Critora main trio with the research from said video. Keep in mind that the following are just my suggestions. 
after all, these characters belong to Derek Spangler. Okay, Spotty. First up, Spotty. She is a blue leopard who is simply laid back. So I would push this further by drawing her a blockier body and muzzle. Spotty could also be lazy to aim her calm blue color and her stable personality. Next up is Cone Boy. Since his whole body is basically a triangle, which emits something like speed, I would make him a loyal but horribly clumsy individual with a dent on his forehead to associate that. Considering he's a traffic cone, he would always mean well. And as for Avery, I would make her feather tips round to resemble hearts, emphasizing her cheery demeanor. But you know what? I could also make her uncontrollable, a true Genki girl. And here's my designs. So, in conclusion, once you've made your own character, make the most of it. Even if your character starts a little underwhelming, just experiment what works until it becomes just right. Oh, and Mr. Spangler, if you're watching this, please don't take any of this personally. I was just using your show and your characters as an example. So keep up the good work and have fun. And if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and support the channel. Thank you for watching.